And now we're joined on the line by Paula in Phoenix. Paula, thanks for calling here and now. You're on the air. Uh, thank you. I, uh, I was very astonished when uh, Harry Miller voted. Harry, Harry Mitchell, rather. Or, Harry Mitchell, sorry. When Harry Mitchell uh, voted to allow Bush and Gonzalez to continue their warrantless wiretapping, what motivated you to do that? Thanks for the call, Congressman. Uh, yeah, thank you. And, and that's a question I've been as, uh, asked many, many times. You know, at the 11th hour, just before we took our August break, uh, we, we had a, a new bill, a FISA bill, which everybody realizes should have been brought up to date. Uh, the bill that we voted on in the House was sent to the Senate, and the Senate rejected it and actually did the president's bill. In fact, they did it with 60 votes, 60 to 28. Mm -hmm. They sent it back to the House. Um, we had really very little choice because uh, what we did get is some concessions. First of all, that this bill that we did pass would be temporary. There was sunsetted um, in six months. One of the things that the Speaker and the leadership of the House has told us is going to happen when we get back is we are going to redo the FISA bill. We're not going to wait for six months. We're going to redo it mm -hmm. and to make sure that our civil liberties are protected. But there, throughout this whole month, I did not want to come back and to say that there's all this chatter going on between uh, these uh, different um, um, terrorist groups mm -hmm. and that we didn't do something about it. This was just a stopgap until we get back, and I think you'll see a real different change in this piece of legislation when we get back. And you were joined by 40 other Democrats in voting in favor of that as well. Yes, that's right. 